So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So in this video, I will talk about J Advanced Cut Off 2021 that is especially for PWD student. Here I will provide you the detailed information regarding the PWD student that is marks versus PWD rank. I will talk about that is the CRL PWD rank that you can expect based on a particular marks. And I will also talk about the marks versus expected IIT that you can get. I have already provided the similar video for uh, all other category that is general PWS, OBC, SC, ST. For PWD, I am providing you a separate video uh, as uh, I have provided so many video for especially for PWD in earlier days so uh, now I am again providing you a separate video so that you also get the information because PWD a student don't find so much information on YouTube or on internet so, so I would like to provide you the information so that you won't have to face any type of difficulty during your counseling days so, so here I will also provide you all about preparatory course that is whether you should take it what is preparatory course many students don't know about this what is this so I will talk all detail about this course course and by watching this video you will able to know about the safe marks what you should have at least in order to get IITs and what are the eligibility criteria for preparatory course and should you choose preparatory course or not if you are not getting the main BTEC course then you, you should choose preparatory course or you should drop a year all those things I will try to provide you in this video so if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe to the channel so that you will get all the update about JOSA counseling and other counseling other entrance exam also in this channel only so please try to subscribe and one more very important information that is if you need counseling guidance for JOSA counseling or any other counseling if you want to do you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number because counseling is very important once you do any type of mistake you might lose the advantage of the PWD reservation so it is very advisable to take the help of any experienced person if you don't have you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number once you register with me I will guide you from now till your admission is done and I will with you from now till your admission is done you can contact me anytime whenever you want if you want the counseling guidance is then only because for that you have to register with me and you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so let's start this video so here is the marks versus expected PWD rank so first I will talk about this then I will talk about the preparatory course then I will talk about the safe marks that you should have at least in order to get into the IITs in this year JOSA counseling so here I will provide you only the CRL PWD rank if you are from OBC PWD SC PWD you can contact me separately so that I can discuss with you all the thing and I will guide you for everything so that you will get the best out of your rank that will be my responsibility once you register with me so if you want you can contact me anytime and if you want to do any other counseling also you can contact me that is jack daily jack chandigarh uh, here if you uh, score 200 plus marks your rank will be under 10 and before going forward for this video i would like to inform you that i have made this right. data by, right. by considering all type of factor and considering the last year data also so all, all those information i have applied in this data so that you can get the very accurate marks versus expected pwd rank so data. if you score 180 plus marks your rank will be under 15 for sure and if you are for 160 plus your rank will be under 24 so uh, that is the CRL PWD if you are from OBC PWD SC ST PWD then you, you uh, will get even more or less rank on that same score so next is if you score 140 plus marks your rank will be under 28 for sure and for 120 plus marks your rank will be under 40 for sure and uh, for uh, 100 plus marks your rank will be under 55 and for 100 plus marks your rank will be under 70 so here, so here is some more data for marks versus pwd rank that is for 90 plus marks your rank will be under 88 for 80 80 plus marks your rank will be under 113 and for 70 plus your rank will be under 140 and for 60 plus your rank will be under 175 and for 50 plus your rank will be under 210 and for 40 plus your rank will be uh, 250 so I have provided a very accurate marks versus expected data you can expect this type of rank if you are scoring this type of marks so next I will talk about the all about the preparatory course so please try to listen my word carefully because this information is very important you and you will not find uh, this type of information on YouTube or internet try to listen it very carefully so that you will know about each and everything so first question is what is the preparatory course so it is a course in which you will be trained for the btech course that is, if your score is less then you will not be eligible for the original rank list uh, by which you can get the original btech course uh, so uh, you will be given a preparatory course uh, and if you enroll in that you have to clear the examination uh, and, and the duration of this course will be one year if you clear the examination uh, you, you will be admitted to the original btech course from the next academic year so next question if you talk about who are eligible for this course so uh, so 
the eligible student are SC, ST and PWD students. These three type of student will get a preparatory rank also not if you will not able to qualify for the J advanced rank list and based on that rank you will get the C for the preparatory course. So next if you talk about what are the outcome of this course. So once you clear the examination you will be in uh, into the B original BTEC course. If you fail in the examination you will not have the chance to join the BTEC course. You have to give the J advanced exam again but even after uh, clearing the examination if you want to appear for J advanced examination again to get better IIT you can appear in the J advanced examination also. So, so one more thing I would like to tell you that the eligibility of this you can get the preparatory course only if you haven't got this this course last year because many students are a dropper. So if you get a preparatory course last year and you didn't join or join it then you will not able to get that preparatory uh, course this year. So here is the next question how many seats are available there so is no fixed seat uh, available for the preparatory course but the seat that will be vacant in the category of SC, ST and PWD that will be considered for the preparatory course seat. So next is how much marks required for this so there is no fixed marks if you fail to clear the cutoff of J advance uh, in your respective category you will get a uh, preparatory rank and based on that rank similar to the other category and other course counseling you will uh, you will do the counseling uh, for the preparatory rank also and you will get the preparatory course according to that so if you find any type of difficulty uh, in this type of information and you want complete counseling guidance you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number anytime so that I can guide you whether you should go with the preparatory course or go with the NIT or triple IT. So all so those things needs a detailed discussion because different students have different type of mindset, different type of personal interest, different type of family background. So it needs a detailed discussion. So once you register with me, I will try to guide you properly from now till your admission is done so that you can get into the right college for this year BTEC course. So next if you talk about what is the passing marks of this course so once you get into this preparatory course then you have to clear two exams and that is two semester there will be and your marks should be 40 percent or an average in both the examination if you score those marks you will be admitted into the btech course from next academic year so next question is whether you should choose this course that is a preparatory course or drop a year that means you, you should take a drop this uh, question also needs a detailed discussion because different uh, students have different type of situation so once you contact me i will try to guide you properly for everything from now till your admission is done so if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number because pwd a student needs to take the decision very carefully yeah. once you do any type of mistake you might have to regret later so it is advisable to take the help of any experienced person if you don't have you can contact me anytime so this is all about the preparatory course if you have any more question you can comment down so that i can take that question in the next video next if you talk about the iit expected pwd cutoff 2021 that is the marks versus iit that you can expect uh, once the rank will be announced i will try to provide you rank versus iit video also so please try to subscribe to the channel so that you will get that video very soon in this channel only so here is the iit versus the marks uh, so if you want a five iit with csc branch your marks would be 160 for male around 150 for female there is some iit in which uh, there is separate uh, separate reservation for female candidates so you can expect there will be a less cutoff for female content so you can expect it around 150 marks also so uh, for top 5 uh, IIT with EC branch your marks would be 190 marks for male and female and for top 5 any branch so you can get that at 85 and 78 marks also and for top 10 CSC your marks would be 105 and 97 for male and female and for uh, top 10 uh, electrical engineering your marks would be 80 and 70 and for top 10 any your marks would be 65 and 60 uh, and for any iit with csc branch your marks would be 80 and 70 and for any iit with any possible branch such as production engineering biotechnology mechanical all uh, this type of branch if you are looking then you can get at 50 and 40 marks also so this is all about the marks versus expected pwd rank marks versus expected iit for pwd student and most importantly the information i have provided you for preparatory course because many students don't know about that and they do the mistake in the counseling so yeah so hope you find this video very useful so please try to subscribe this channel so that i will provide you regular uh, video on pwd student also and i will try to provide you regular video for other categories as well as i do in previous days and one more time i would like to inform you that if you need counseling guidance for josa counseling or any other counseling that you will do this year 
you can contact me once you register with me i will try to guide you for everything from now till your admission is done so that you will get the best out of your rank in each counseling that you will do this year and i will also guide you whether you should go with this course or that branch or this uh, college or that college so all those things needs a detailed discussion once you register i will try to discuss with you everything so thanks for watching this video again and please try to subscribe